So good day. For today's video, we'll be looking for teachers on the teacher's end, how to create a class. So at this point, we're already assuming that you created your teacher account and you're just logging in. So um, we say thanks to Miss Abraham for lending us our account, Miss Abraham a teacher at the Grenada Boys Secondary School. Um, so, so after you logged in, after you logged in, you come to the left, you come to the left, and you click on Create a Class. Now, the window comes up and it says Name Your Class. Now, you want to give your class a sensible name that the student could relate to. So take, for instance, in the GBSS, they have that particular naming system. So 1G refers to um, level one and G, because they have multiple uh, forms at the level one, so their naming system is 1G. So we will call it 1G and her subject is Spanish. And we will also include something that gives an idea to the school year, because after the school year finished, you can archive your class. So 1G Spanish, and I think the school year is what? What are we in? 2020, although it's not good to say this 2020, you know. 2020, 20 slash 21. Yeah. Or you could even leave it, since it starts in September, you could just call it 1G 2020. Description. Miss... Abraham Spanish. Miss Abraham Electronic Spanish class for the students of 1G in the GBSS. And if you're going to be creating more than one, so let's say the next one will be 1B1, you can copy this and save time. So then you'll just change your 1G to 1B1 later. Select grade. The grade is equivalent. Form 1 is equivalent to grade 9. Um, select subject. Let's see. It falls on the, let's see if they have that here. World language. Yeah. So... The category could be world languages here. Uh, and there we have it, Spanish. And we can leave the default color they can create for us. And we create that class. We click on create. So you have two options there now. Um, it says, welcome to 1G Spanish 2020. What's next? We recommend adding students now so that they can start participating in your class. You can click here if you have, um, you want to invite the students and so on, yeah? Or the best way since, um, well, that's provided that your school has some established class already, you can give them a class code. So take for instance, a teacher who has all who has 1G and has a, um, the whole class, you can tell them, hey, um, tell 1G that they can join my Spanish class and here's the code. Or you can make a post onto your school's profile that every student would see and telling them that, hey, this is my Spanish class for 1G. And they would enter that code. And then you would see them here in members. Yeah. Now, um, these three dots here. These three dots here, advanced settings, right, is how you control a class. This will be primarily used with students. Default all new students to read only. I mean, they could only read posts, they can comment and so on. Hide my posts from parents. Moderate all posts here. Yeah. But if you select this option, it means that anything the student posts, it will not be displayed until you approve it, right? But you can leave this option free for now and see how it goes. If you find that they, they're posting things that uh, is not student-like, then you can come back here and change it so that you would approve what 
uh, post shows up. Right, so pretty much that was it. Creating a class for teachers using Ed Moodle. Be sure to subscribe to Chosen One TV for more Ed Moodle videos. Yeah, we'll be doing a lot of videos to help this COVID-19 situation. So subscribe to Chosen One TV on YouTube and click on the Ed Moodle video tutorial video section. And of course, share the thing, share the thing among your peers and, and so on. Thank you very much, Dr. Antoine here, Dr. Also known as Chosen One. Thanks for watching.